Uh, over 10 years, Fine Gael have been looking to shut the A&E in Our Lady's Hospital in Navan. And for 10 years, the people of Meath have been marching in their tens of thousands to keep it open. Shockingly, in March 2020, the government actually went public with the decision to close the A&E for 12 hours overnight. And then COVID happened, and then those plans thankfully fell apart. For the last 18 months, the health services have been battling against COVID with not enough staff, not enough beds, and critically, with not enough ICU beds. Now, I've learned this week that the HSE board have decided to close the A&E uh, &E in Navan uh, for uh, overnight uh, periods. And I've learned today that the ICU in Navan is actually closed today. Now, this is an outrageous situation. Like, the government should have learned something with regards to the amount of people who have suffered due to COVID over the last year and a half. Most people caught COVID either in a hospital or a nursing home uh, setting. And Thank given you. that... You know, it's, it's, it's an incredible situation. The government is Thank looking you, to Deputy. cut the capacity in Navin Hospital now. You worked in the Deputy, hospital. Deputy, will you guarantee that Fine Gael Deputy, will keep the hospital A&E open 24-7? Thanks, Deputy. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, not aware of any such decision uh, by the HC board, um, but uh, you, you may well be correct. Um, and certainly my strong view has always been that... Uh, uh, if any emergency department in any hospital is going to be closed or uh, have reduced hours, you need to be absolutely sure that there's sufficient capacity in uh, other hospitals uh, in the region and that the ambulance service is able to uh, deal with it. Um, but um, like I say, I, I, I'm not aware of that decision by the HC board if it is made. Uh, just mentioned it there to, to Minister Donnelly and he's going to check up on it and uh, come back to you with a further reply.